Reddit proves that walls work. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on reddit.com. So, here we have on r slash pics. It's one of the Reddit boards full of, well, you know, cucks and soy boys and the worst group of all, Redditors. 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 Here we see this post by Tim M. F. Wang with 74,000 upvotes. Oh my god, I bet he can afford internet gold now. Speaking of, he has internet gold and four silvers. Um, do you guys know what this is? Well, here's the thing. These awards, you pay for them. You pay for these rewards and you give them to Redditors. And apparently the gold ones give you Reddit premium and some virtual coins. It's really, really lame. Like, um, it, it's pure cuckery. It's, uh, but that's Reddit for you. It's, uh, it's cancer. L let's read this here. Berliners are sending a piece of the Berlin Wall to Trump with the message, we would like to give you one of the last pieces of the failed Berlin Wall to commemorate the United States' dedication to building a world without walls. So their message here is that walls don't work. See, we tore down this wall. But um, there's an obvious uh, logical problem with that. If walls do not work, then why did you have to tear it down? This is big brain time. Summoning five brain cells. So I know Reddit is circle jerking here because it's full of leftists and liberals. But let me just say this. Reddit itself proves that walls work. For example, so if you go to our all, it's basically a liberal circle jerk. Reddit is a website that all the soy boys from the city use. Okay, it's a very cancerous platform. Uh, a very weak place. Like, if you go to Reddit, you always get banned if you have the wrong opinion. Um, there's no freedom of thought. It's all circle jerking. And it's highly leftist. You know, they kind of suck. Um, well, you know how it is. So they removed the R. Donald from all. That was the first thing they did. That was the first wall they built. And then the R. Donald was quarantined. And it's quarantined to this day. It basically cut it off. They suppress it. Um, they hate it. They hate it because it goes against their... Well, they're ideology. They're leftists. They're liberals. They're soy boys and they're cucks. They don't like red pills. They don't like the truth. They want to live in their little bubble. What further proof do you need than this comment? by deleted the fact is when r slash the donald sends its posts they're not sending the best posts they bring in death threats they're doxing they're advocating violence they begrade lists and some i assume are good people yeah so um this is what happened a bunch of leftists a bunch of liberals a bunch of uh, soy boys what they would do is go on the donald say some pretend to be right wingers and then say really bad stuff and then they would report it. So really, they were bullying the Donald. They were making all of the threats. They were doing all the advocating. And they got it quarantined. The left was being violent. And they shut it down. What this means is that the admins have built a wall around r slash the Donald. A great wall. A high wall. A beautiful wall. It's the best wall. r slash the Donald members will pay for the wall. I promise r slash the Donald very much respects Reddit admins. Reddit admins very, very large uh, band hammers. So they're proving once again that walls work. When you censor, when you silence people, it reminds me of that post. There's a general phenomena I've noticed on the internet. Any form with free speech and little to no moderation becomes right wing. Leftist ideas cannot exist without censorship and moderation. This is why we've started seeing armies of paid shills trying to flood spaces with their talking points. So, walls obviously work, and the Berlin Wall was one of the most successful walls. It absolutely worked. Now here, someone has a funny comment. Fresh Maker says, Trump has a piece of the wall installed on the Mexico border. Germany paid for the wall. <laughs> Emos for days replies, Oh goodness, I hope so. It would make the people who sent it furious. Oh, I would love that. That would be truly a historical moment. Lendord replies, Trump at the next press conference. Citizens of Berlin are so supportive of the U.S.-Mexico border wall, they chipped in some raw materials. Great people, Germans. My uncle had a German shepherd, trained, easy to train, very smart, intelligent. Best business school education. Only the best for me and my family, and America is my family. Best for America is re-election next year or something. Edit. Epstein didn't kill himself. So it would absolutely be hilarious if he actually crushed the wall. I would. Because screw them, okay? They, they engraved this wall with some cringy message. 
It's kind of hard to read it, but for decades, the United States played a major role on bringing the wall down, from John F. Kennedy to Ronald Reagan. The presidents of the United States fought against it. I assume, blah blah blah, building a world without walls, citizens of Berlin. So it's a cucked uh, message, the 30th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall, Germany is united again. Yeah, well Germany's also suffering, as is Europe, from uh, random explosions, random gangs. Um, I'm sure it has no cause. Now this is a historical artifact, but it's a leftist historical artifact. I think it would be hilarious if he broke it down and put it in the wall. <laughs> that would be funny. But he could also just sell it. That would be less harmful to history. But um, they're absolutely stupid because it proves that walls work. Coast of Maine says, but it really did work. It separated the city. They call me Mr. Maybe. So this person replies and they don't even realize how stupid they are. The Berlin Wall was very unique. It was two concrete walls with a leveled no man's land set between them. Constant patrols, AP mines, and checkpoints across the perimeter. So what you're saying is, we need not one, but two walls, armed guards, and landmines. So basically, this person isn't proving that walls don't work. This person is proving that you simply need more security. In order to protect a border, you need strong security. Broken glass on top as well. So that's how you do it. You need military, you need barbed wire, you need no man's land, you need protection. Walls work. Walls absolutely work, and it proves that it works. Oh, it's so wonderful, we brought down the wall. Yeah. Why? Because walls work. If walls don't work, then why do you have walls around your house? Why do you lock your door? Why do you... Why do you have walls at all? When you really think about it, the truth is obvious. It's just that these leftists are so stupid and so blind. They just don't see it. So we have a bunch of cucks saying, Oh, it's not the same thing at all. Blah, blah, blah. It's not the, literally, they're saying, the Berlin Wall was built by communist East Germany and the Soviets to trap people inside East Germany and prevent them from escaping. This analogy only works if the US border wall existed to prevent US citizens from leaving their own country. Um, I really don't agree with that. That's dumb. A lot of people wanted to cross the wall, but they couldn't. And that's, that's, uh, that's how, that's the thing. It doesn't matter. The analogy works either way. The wall blocks you from entering or leaving. It does the same thing. You have to be a moron not to see it. Ooh, here's something I never expected to see on Reddit. Is the fire rising, my friends? Savoran countries have an inherent and absolute right to secure their borders. Somebody give this man a medal and not a digital one. So even someone who doesn't support Trump sees, sees the point. Obsess DCRF says, I don't support Trump, but the whole premise is stupid. A world without walls will never happen. Human nature makes us somewhat tribal and there is no way to fundamentally change that there will always be conflict and grouping behavior. And sometimes, you need to keep people out or in. Does that mean we should remove fences from all the government compounds? If the goal is a world without walls, then why not? What about removing walls from prisons? <laughs> yeah, that's the point here. That's the point. Man, these people are so cringy. Exempt people. Except the Berlin Wall was to keep people in, while Trump's wall is to keep people out. <laughs> I'm from Reddit. <laughs> I have three brain cells, but I only use one of them. And we're going to leave off with the most obvious comment. The Berlin Wall didn't fail. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. It was designed to stop travel between East and West Berlin, which it succeeded in doing. You can't say it failed, as it was extremely effective for decades. Walls work. Walls absolutely work. You just have to enforce it. You just need more protection. You need more. And maybe the fire is rising because I see Zoomers and they're saying we have the right to protect our border. But you know what, my friends? That's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about... <laughs> Ugh. What do you think about Reddit? Am I too hard on them? Like, I know they're a bunch of soy boys and cucks and stuff, but, you know, maybe I'm being too harsh. What do you think? As always, if you want to support the work I do, you can join me on Patreon, you can join me on Subscribestar, and you can donate via PayPal or Bitcoin. Sharing the video also helps the channel grow. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.